Hello, let us learn in this video why we make use of mercury or alcohol in a thermometer. Now here I have a thermometer with alcohol in it and this is a laboratory thermometer and I hope you can see the mercury inside the capillary tube up till 20 degrees, close to 20 degrees. So this mercury, uh, sorry, this alcohol inside the capillary tube is called the thread of the alcohol inside the capillary tube. So we have a capillary tube inside inside the capillary tube we have alcohol rising and this alcohol inside the capillary tube is called the thread of alcohol similarly here this is a clinical thermometer and this is the bulb here i'm not going to touch it and then we have a capillary tube which is uh, like a transparent glass here uh, if i if i zoom in you can actually see the the capillary tube here inside the body and then it becomes yellow and this capillary tube is this yellow colored structure inside the thermometer right so and on the inside of the thermometer, if you look closely here, can you see the mercury rising? So this is this is the bulb of the thermometer and then the mercury has risen in here and it has reached here. So this is called the thread of mercury inside the capillary tube. So, so far we have learned the concept of thread of mercury or thread of alcohol. It is basically the alcohol or mercury that has traveled inside the capillary tube. Okay, but why do we use alcohol or mercury? Now the reason is that these alcohol and mercury, they expand very rapidly. When they receive a little bit of it, they expand so rapidly that the alcohol then rapidly rises in the capillary tube, right? So they expand very rapidly. Also, when they lose heat, they contract very rapidly. When I say contract, it means it condenses. They become the atoms, their atoms and molecules, they come closer to each other. So. Uh, because of this particular property of alcohol and mercury, they are used in thermometers so that we can f rapidly read the changes that happen in temperature. Let us have a look at this thermometer and I'll have to clean up the background screen so that the, uh, the autofocus of this camera does not, uh, is not is not disturbed. So at this very moment, let me just keep it down and let's just zoom in and see what I intend to demonstrate to you. So here is the thermometer. And if you look at the temperature at this very moment is close to is somewhere near 94 even below that. So what I'm going to do is you should never touch a bulb but I'm going to touch a bulb and I'm going to transfer the heat from my fingers into the thermometer. So as I touch the bulb observe what happens to mercury. All right. Let us observe. Okay. Let me use the other hand. I believe a little warm hand will do. All right, so do you see there? Do you see there? Do you see the mercury is expanding rapidly? You see, and that is why we make use of mercury because it expands really rapidly. So I'm transferring a little heat from my body and it has started to register the change in temperature. And now observe what happens when I release my hands from the bulb. If I take my hands off, you see the temperature actually stays there. You just have to remember this. But anyway, so we have demonstrated that if you apply a little heat to the bulb or to the mercury, it expands rapidly. So now let us see whether this happens with alcohol also. So here we have an alcohol thermometer. This is the bulb. I'm not going to touch it at the moment. And here, this is at around 20 degrees Celsius. So in order to see both the bulb and the alcohol, I'm going to kind of like move it slightly into the site and I hope you can see the temperature it can be seen here it is around 21 it is around 21 and 22 degrees close to 22 degrees now I'm going to touch the bulb and let us see does the alcohol also expand can you see the expansion of alcohol can you see the alcohol rising this is precisely the reason why we use alcohol or mercury in a thermometer. But anyways, I want to observe you. I want you to observe one more thing. When I release the bulb, see what happens to the alcohol in the thermometer. Yeah, let's zoom in and see it a little more closely. Now my hands are here. My fingers are free. Let's have a look at the temperature. This is going to take a little bit of time. See, the temperature is falling. In a clinical thermometer, the temperature does not fall. Whereas in a laboratory thermometer, the temperature falls. See, it is coming down now. It is close to 29 degrees now. 
right but if if i show you the same old clinical thermometer it will have the same temperature once you take a reading on this thermometer the clinical thermometer it does not change so i hope the objective of the video is clear to you that an alcohol thermometer so so let's just move this out of the frame i hope the uh, idea of this or the point of this video is clear to you that alcohol and mercury are used in thermometers because they rapidly expand and also when heat is removed from them they rapidly contract and they can because of this expansion and contraction they can rapidly go into the capillary tube uh, and rise up and show us the reading or they can fall down but in a clinical thermometer you must remember that the temperature once it is measured the temperature does not fall down right i'll see you in some other video